hello everyone welcome back to my channel mind your exam so in this video we will be studying about traversing a list using different kinds of loop the for loop as well as the while loop okay now starting with the for loop now using the for loop there are two methods in which uh, there are two ways in which you can traverse a list now what do i mean by traverse that means accessing the elements of a list one by one using the loop so okay so uh uh, for example, when we have a list, say L, which has five elements, one, two, three, four, five, then if we write a for loop and we write a list, uh, a iterator, of, so, okay, so when you write the for loop, you specify a variable that iterates over all the elements that are present in the list and this is the membership operator that you studied about in the previous video so if you want to traverse the elements of a list using the for loop what you do you write the keyword for you specify any variable name you it can be i it can be j it can be any variable name that you want to take of your choice then you specify the membership operator in and you specify the list name spec uh, followed by that colon operator and then inside the for loop, you write down how you want to print the element. So I have written a very simple print statement, print L. Now what this will do is, for each iteration, this particular variable EL will take as its value one of the elements of the list. So in the first iteration, the value of this variable EL will be the first element of the list L, which is 1. And in the inside the loop, this will be printed. So the printed print statement will give you value 1. Then in the second iteration, this particular variable will take the value 2, which is the second element of the list. And when it does so inside the print inside the for loop the print statement will print the second element which is the element 2 and so on this process will continue as long as there are elements inside this list l okay so uh, the value of el variable will be uh, five different values one value for each iteration and those values will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and in each iteration the element will be printed which is stored in the variable el okay so in this type of for loop for accessing or traversing a list the variable the iterator variable that you use it takes the value of the list element now this is in contrast to the second uh, way of using the for loop to iterate or traverse a list in the second way what you do is you use two built-in functions of python which are the range function and the length function so the range function uh, as we have studied previously also it will uh, create a range of list a range of values starting from zero and going till the value that has been specified here okay and the length function as studied in the previous video it will give you the list length okay so if you have a list again l we are using the same list l here so first you have to write the for uh, syntax the for loop syntax which is the keyword for then you specify an iterator variable you can take any name for the variable i have taken it i is the, in this case now for i in range length of l so the length of l will be 5 in this case and the function range of 5 will give you the values 0 1 2 3 and 4 so in this case the iterator will not take the values which are the elements of the list rather the iterator will have the values which will act as the index values for the list and that is why inside the for loop we have used the in the print statement we have used the value of the iterator as an index to the list l okay so if you directly print uh, the value of i you will get the values 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay because 
this variable is taking the values that are present in this range which is range of 5 and range of 5 is the values 0 to 4 but when you print this particular value if you want to print the elements you need to specify the list name and the index value and as an index you will use the variable i okay so in the second way of using the for loop for accessing or traversing a list you will uh, use the iterator to as an index so here the iterator contains the index value for the list in the previous case the iterator contained the elements of the list itself so this is a very different uh, uh, the big difference between the two cases both the cases are using the for loop but in a very different manner one is accessing the elements directly and the other is taking or printing the elements indirectly by first accessing all the indices and then using the uh, index values to get the elements okay now this was the first way in which you can access the uh, list or traverse a list using the for loop now there is also a way to access the list using the while loop so now just as the syntax of the while says you need to specify the value of the iterator variable or, or the loop iterator variable before beginning the while loop and in the while loop condition checking you specify whether this iterator variable has a value which is less than the length of L and why we are checking this because we are ensuring that we do not go beyond the valid index values for the list so the list L has five elements so the valid index values for this particular list are 0 to 4 so we want to say as long as the variable I has the value which is between 0 to 4 including the end indexes then only you perform the work that is inside this loop then only you execute the uh, two statements so this is a checking for the python interpreter that we are doing okay so uh, when the value of i is zero in the first iteration again we are accessing the element of list l using the value of i as an index then we are printing it and we are incrementing the value of the loop iterator so that in the next iteration next uh, element is printed in all the three cases that we just discussed the result will be exactly the same you can use either of the way that suits you that you find easy or comfortable but these are all the three ways in which you can access the elements of a list and traverse a list i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts or you want to study any particular topic from the python or computer science subject please you can mention in the comment section below thank you for watching till we meet in the next next video mind your exam